and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing two brand new dies, our speech bubble backdrop and also our stitched speech bubble backdrop. And these dies make the coolest backgrounds for your cards and we're gonna be showing you three really fun cards with these dies today. But first up, we're gonna check these dies out. So here you can see both styles of speech bubble backdrops. On the left, we have the really cool stitched detail that imprints into the cardstock. And on the right, we have this one that has all of these speech bubble openings. The other really cool thing about that die is that you get a bunch of die cut speech bubbles that you can also use on your card. So every time you cut them out, you get all these amazing speech bubbles to work with too. So first up, we're gonna work with that speech bubble backdrop and we're gonna die cut it from some mermaid cardstock. Next, I'm gonna use the glue tube to add some liquid glue and we're gonna layer that onto a piece of white cardstock. Now this die would work with so many of the sentiments that you have in your stash, but it's also specifically sized to work with our new Critter Chatter stamp set, which ends up being so cute. So here we're gonna take out a rainbow of inks. So I went through all of my inks and kind of picked up this nice, bright, happy rainbow. And we're gonna start by stamping all of these words from Critter Chatter. And I'm gonna be stamping the cat words and the dog words in this. And so I'm gonna stamp two out in each of my colors. So I'm gonna start out with the guava here and I'll stamp two of those. And then I'm gonna move on to Peachy Keen and then through all of the coast colors of the rainbow, stamping all of these different cat words, mixing and matching the colors and the different fonts. And you can see just how cute this turns out. I like to turn the speech bubbles so they're kind of facing the way I need them to face and then I stamp in them. You can stamp one of the sentiments or you can even take one and stamp the same sentiment multiple times to fill in the speech bubble. It's so super cute with the Critter Chatter, but you can imagine how cute it would be to stamp a bunch of hellos from a bunch of different stamp sets, highs and hellos, and mix and match that. So I love how cool it looks in rainbow order. I also think it would look really, really pretty doing a tone on tone effect. So maybe a dark turquoise all stamped in there with the lighter turquoise backdrop. Also, for some reason, it's super relaxing stamping and filling in all of those little speech bubbles. I absolutely love making these cards. So here I'm taking out a dotted hillside that comes in the palm tree backdrop and I'm gonna die cut some cilantro cardstock with that. And we're gonna work with the bottom half of the Critter Chatter stamp set, which has this whole translation idea. So you have all the critter words and then translation and all of these different events and occasions that you can put underneath the translation. So in this case, I did, I appreciate you a lot and I thought this would be a really cute thank you card. Here we have a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm adding a bunch of tape runner to that and then we're gonna layer this whole scene on top. I've taken out these cute little characters from Say What Pets and you can see that I could have used the words for the bird and done the bird and cat together, but in this case I did the dog and cat together. So we're gonna add some foam squares onto these adorable little guys and then layer them onto the card. This card is super cute and was really, really easy to do, especially if you had a bunch of those backdrops out. You can imagine stamping the pink meow in a bunch of different ones all at once. And so that's what I did here. I actually have two different versions of the same card, which turned out so super cute and fun. So next up, we're gonna work with the stitched speech bubble backdrop. So this backdrop is a little bit more subtle because it just has the stitching detail instead of there being actual openings cut into your cardstock. So now that we've got that all cut, we're gonna do some distress inking here. So we have some broken china distressed oxide ink and a blender brush, and we're gonna add some ink detail towards the bottom of the card. And today I'm recreating a card by Audrey, so thank you so much, Audrey, for letting us recreate it for the video. Now, Audrey likes to do these really cool highlights with inking techniques onto her cards, and it's definitely out of my comfort zone. So I really like looking at cards my friends make and then trying their techniques because it gets me to try something new and it makes me want to put some more random inking onto my cards. So you can see I've kind of inked the bottom and then made it lighter up towards the top and having it fade out into nothing. And then here I'm taking a spray bottle and spraying this with some water. And the water is going to react with that ink, creating a really cool texture, which is going to look kind kind of like little bubbles and this card's gonna have a fish on it so it's really gonna go with this whole kind of fish bubble water theme I've got going on here. So here I've got that Critter Chatter stamp set out again because it's one of my new favorites. And we're gonna stamp the splash bloop in just one of the speech bubbles. So this is a really cool way to use either one of these dies is just stamping in one speech bubble and just using one of them instead of doing all of them. So it's two different looks and I love them both. 
I've got another standard size card base here at five and a half by four and a quarter and adding a bunch of tape runner to that and we're going to layer this whole cool kind of watercolor looked background onto the card base. Now next up I have two stamp sets and that's Say What Pets and Keep On Swimming. And so these sets work perfectly with the Critter Chatter and then also with the Speech Bubble backdrops. So I've stamped a little speech bubble from the Say What Pets and then the fish bowl and the fish food from the Keep On Swimming. And so we're going to layer that cute little fish into the bowl and give him some bubbles. And we've also got that adorable little fish food there. And I wanted to die cut a heart. So I'm using the heart dies and die cutting it out of some white cardstock. I wanted the heart to match the top of the fish food bottle. So I'm using the same Copic marker, it's R24, to color in that heart. So I love that they're going to coordinate and it gives me kind of a cool custom colored heart to layer into my speech bubble. To add to the cool cartoon effect here, I'm going to take a white gel pen and add a little highlight on there. Also did that onto the fish and the fish food too. And then we're going to stamp out the translation, I love you, which is so super cute. We're going to use a sentiment banner die here to die cut that. So we're just going to die cut that and you'll see that's a really long banner die, but we're just going to trim off any of the excess. I'm kind of just putting that sentiment over to the left and then we can go ahead and layer that onto the card base and then just trim off any extra. And I like that it's coming out from the side like that. I think that's a really, really cool look. So this sentiment banner is going to serve kind of like the ground for all of our images. So now we're going to take some foam squares and layer on these images so that they're all touching and kind of layered together in this cool little cluster. So we'll put the fish food first and then the fish bowl and then that little speech bubble, which is I think really cute and really ties in the whole speech bubble backdrop in the background. For a finishing touch, I have some of these cute little water droplets here, and so I'm going to layer those onto the card so that it looks like they're coming up out of the bowl. And I really think that kind of ties the whole card together, and it really creates the transition from the dark blue at the bottom to the white at the top. So I've placed them in placement there, and I'm just picking them up with a jewel picker, adding a little liquid glue, and then those guys are going to be held securely in place, and the card is all done. Absolutely adorable. I love the idea of using this same thing, but doing a different color and maybe putting the cat or the dog or the bird there. So now we're going to be working with the speech bubble backdrop and we're actually going to get six different cards out of this idea. It's so super cool. So we're going to die cut those from a bunch of different card stocks. So we have guava, fake tan, sticky note, cilantro, peacock, and sugar plum. And this is going to create a really, really cool rainbow. We've also gone ahead and die cut that same backdrop out of some white cardstock and we're going to layer that backdrop onto a card base. So we'll add some liquid glue to the back of it and just layer that right onto the card base. Next, we're going to start dropping in those speech bubbles, creating a really cool pattern. So what I really like about this is we're creating almost like our own custom pattern paper. So we're going to pop out the three of the guava there, and we're going to put some little liquid glue in those spots and then drop in those three guava speech bubbles. And then we'll be repeating that with all of the different colors. The cool thing about this is we're going to have all these speech bubbles left over and yep, you guessed that we're going to be able to make more backdrops out of that as well. So I love that you can get so many cards and I just love dropping in these little pieces. There's something about inlaid die cutting that just, I love it. I don't know about you guys if you feel the same way, but every time I drop a die cut piece into the die cut opening, it's always just makes me happy. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the green and I love that this rainbow is kind of going at the diagonal. You could also have it go from top to bottom too, which would be a really cool look as well. Next we've die cut the scripty hello out of some of the black sparkle cardstock and we're going to die cut one of the outside in stitched speech bubbles here out of some vellum and I love the look of the black layered on the vellum that's really going to let the colors of the background that we created show through. So we're adding a little liquid glue onto the hello and that'll be layered onto the vellum piece. Now we wanted there to be a little bit of just pop to this thing so we went ahead and die cut a bunch more of the scripty hello out of some some black cardstock and we're going to start layering that on the back of this hello popping it all up so it's going to give this really cool height and it's going to look really really nice from the side as well it's going to have a really clean look so now we're just adding some more liquid glue with the glue tube and we can start to layer all of our scripty hellos on top of each other 
we can add the stack of hellos to the back of that vellum piece, add a little bit more liquid glue to the back of that whole thing. And the nice thing about this too is it's gonna hide the liquid glue so you won't see it through the vellum. And then we can layer that right onto the card. And this card is absolutely adorable. It just makes me smile. It's so much fun. I love that it's completely die cut and that it's so bright and happy. So to finish the card up, we're just gonna add some little tiny sequins there with some liquid glue kind of scattered all around the card and that's gonna give it some nice sparkle and shine. Uh, we always like to lay out all the sequins, kind of see where they're gonna look nice and then you can add a little liquid glue, pick them up and drop them right back down. So now that we have one card made, it's time to start working with all of those other speech bubbles that we die cut. So here you can see all of these cool frames, which we're actually gonna save for other cards. But right now we're gonna do a really cool technique that Shari came up with, which I really think is awesome. So we're gonna take a speech bubble backdrop here and put it onto a card base and just hold it in place there with some washi tape. And this is just gonna be a guide as to where to put our speech bubbles. Next, we're gonna trim down some foam tape to fit in all of these speech bubbles. So we're gonna put those all in there and then we can start to work with those leftover speech bubbles and start filling in these different colors. So we're gonna peel up that liner paper and then start with the purples and add those into the corner. And then we can start moving on to the other colors. So we're just gonna peel those up and fill them in. I love seeing this in fast motion, it looks so cool. So we're gonna finish up there with our greens and then our blues. And then we can peel up that guide that we had on there that was just being held down by washi tape. So you can peel it up carefully, making sure to not lift up any of those speech bubbles that you secured down with the foam tape. And how cool does this look? So I think it's a really, really neat look where you have either that speech bubble backdrop and all of the stitching and everything, or you don't even have the backdrop at all and you just have the speech bubbles. It looks really, really neat. So we went ahead and repeated that same thing over and over again on a bunch of different card bases and you can see how fun that looks. You can either use the foam squares or you could do it with liquid glue as well, still using that backdrop as the guide. So you could have a popped up version and a flat version too. Now Shari's favorite way to decorate these backgrounds is to work with some black cardstock and some die cuts. So here we have our outside in stitched speech bubbles and we're also going to be working with some die cut letters. So that high is from those speech bubbles. We also have some other scripty words like scripty thanks and also die cut letters as well. And you can see just how fun the black looks on that pop of color of that crazy background. So we'll add the little dot for the eye and then work on all of the other cards looking through our stash of die cuts and layering those on and you can see how cute those look. I absolutely love these. I love with this one idea that you can get six different cards. So super cool and so fun and these would definitely make someone smile. So now we have some amazing cards by the design team. And this card by Elena is so cute. In those speech bubbles, she mixed and matched Critter Chatter along with some words from the Say What Pets. So I love that you can fit Critter Chatter words, but you can also fit other words in the backgrounds too. This card by Melissa is so cute. I love how she created that really cool tone on tone background. Here, Letitia also popped up her speech bubbles, but she added this beautiful watercolor look to them and I just love it. This card by Megan is so cool. She used all these different mom and mum and mama words from different stamp sets and layered them into the speech bubbles and I just love it. Here's the card by Audrey that inspired us to make ours today. And I love how Elise white heat embossed and then created this really cool ink blended background. Absolutely gorgeous. Here, I love Shari's tone-on-tone -tone look with her cool stitched speech bubble backdrop. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these new backdrops, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!